Hi Sunday School kiddos and welcome to another week of Sunday School lessons. Uh, remember last week, or actually, who remembers last week's lesson? Do you remember what we said? It was return to Jerusalem. What did they do? The temple and law. Remember, Zerubbabel had come back from Persia to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple with some of the Jewish people. And then we had Ezra, who, what did he do? Can you take a guess? Right, he was a scribe. He helped the Jewish people remember that they needed to honor God and keep their promises just like he kept his promises. Well, we're going to jump in and we're going to talk about rebuilding the wall. So remember some improvements in the city have been made under the leadership of Zerubbabel. New temple was built under Ezra, the law of Moses that God had given to Moses was brought back and enforced. But the walls and the gates of the city were left in a crumble. God called upon a man named Nehemiah to take up on this task. Nehemiah was a Jew, but he did not live in Jerusalem. Wait, didn't all the Jews return to Jerusalem? Was Zerubbabel? Is that true? No, only a couple of them, or some of them did. More than a couple, but some of them did, some of them didn't. Some of them stayed in Persia with the king Cyrus. Cyrus sorry. But a couple kings in between, and it's now Artaxerxes. Not only a portion of them did. Some, like Nehemiah, lived in Persia, where he worked in the palace. Nehemiah had a very important job. He was the cupbearer for the king. What does a cupbearer do? Sometimes bad people would put poison in the king's drinking cup. But Nehemiah's job was to taste the drink. And if it was good, and he didn't fall over dead, the king could drink the drink. But if it was not good, then Nehemiah would die, but the king would be safe. So that is what a cupbearer would do. It's a very important job. Even though Nehemiah had never been to Jerusalem, he really wanted to go. His brother had been to Jerusalem and had told Nehemiah about it. Nehemiah's brother said that even though the temple had been built in Jerusalem, there were still some very important things that were missing. The big wall that used to surround Jerusalem still needed to be fixed. It was falling down and crumbling. That's not a very good wall if it's not even keeping itself up. Nehemiah went to the king and told him that he would like to go to Jerusalem and repair the city walls. The king liked Nehemiah a lot. So he gave him permission to go. The king gave Nehemiah a letter to show to all the Jews and all the neighbor, the nationing neighbors of Jerusalem. The letter said that Nehemiah was in charge of rebuilding the walls. The king also sent some marching soldiers and some soldiers on horses along with Nehemiah to keep him safe. When Nehemiah arrived in Jerusalem, he made a special trip around the city to have a look at the walls. He wanted to see the wall for himself without anyone noticing or trying to sway his opinion. So he went at night. He rode a horse all around the walls. He saw everything that needed to be fixed. Soon Nehemiah organized everyone to work on the wall. The Jews wanted to have a wall around their city so lots of people volunteered to help. At first everyone worked very hard but soon their work was interrupted. What do you think happened? What happened with the temple? The neighbors. The neighbors from other cities came and started bothering the workers. They made fun of them and said that they didn't know how to build walls. But the workers did not stop. Nehemiah kept praying that God would help them on doing the right thing, even when people made fun of them. Next, the neighbors decided to attack the workers to make them stop. When Nehemiah heard about this plan, he started making sure that, thing, that there were always guards near the workers all day and all night. 
to protect the workers when they were busy. Why would their neighbors do that? Why would they attack them? They knew that rebuilding the walls around Jerusalem would help their military become strong, and that could be dangerous for them. Even some of the Jews made the work workers want to stop rebuilding. Some of the rich Jews started cheating some of the poor Jews. The workers wanted to stop and help the poor people. But Nehemiah called all the cheaters together and told them that they had to give all the money back. Soon everyone got back to work. When the neighbors saw that the wall was getting taller and taller every day, they decided to try and hurt Nehemiah. They sent him messages telling him to meet them alone outside of town. Nehemiah told them that he would not stop working on the walls. No matter what people did to try and stop Nehemiah, he kept working on his work. He knew it was the right thing to do. Finally, the wall was finished. Nehemiah had never stopped doing the right thing, even when people tried to stop him. So why was Nehemiah building this? Nehemiah's purpose for rebuilding the wall was not primarily to end the city's vulnerability. So not in order to just make the military strong and scare off other people, but he wanted to end the disgrace that was coming upon God um, because the city wasn't complete. This was a holy city that had been in disrepair and he, this part needed to be repaired in order to glorify God. All of the Jews had a special day of celebration. Ezra, the priest, stood on a high wooden platform and read from the book of the law of God. As soon as he began reading, the people all stood up to show respect to the for the word of God. Ezra read from the law, from sunrise until noon. By standing that long, that's a long time to listen. Everyone was so thankful to God. All right, that concludes this week's lesson. Before we go though, I wanna show you a picture. Again, this is from Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Um, when they went to Jerusalem, and this is what it looks like with the city all built back together. Hopefully there's a picture right over here. All right, kiddos, I look forward to seeing you in our Zoom classes. Don't forget to memorize your verse, do your craft, eat your snack. Don't forget the snack. Um, and review the song. All right, bye-bye.